Our second speaker has been facilitating local projects and attracting foreign productions in film, television, and digital media in Southern Alberta since 2007. That's the year I was born, 2007. <laughs> That's not a joke, okay. <laughs> He's the Vice President of Creative Industries Operations and the Film Commissioner of, the Cal of Calgary Economic Development. Please welcome Luke Azevedo. Nice way to start, Andrew, make a guy feel old. So, uh, thanks for having me. I um, thought tonight I'd talk a little bit about the lens that I look through uh, most of my life, work and personal. So, this is the lens that 40% of my life is uh, that I'm in front of. Um, not just LA, but people identify with the signs, so uh, it's a good entry point to what I'm going to talk about tonight. Um, not only uh, the work side of it, but also some personal side. Start with Fargo, season one. Brought an industry that has a hundred years of history into the new world of big budget series. This certainly was a transition for the film and television industry in Calgary, and it wasn't without its growing pains, but huge, huge returns. Next step, The Last of Us, the largest budget series production in Canadian history. This is one of the biggest shows seen in 2022 globally. Huge impact on our, on our region and our people. 180 locations in 13 months. Our city, our talent, our crews, they didn't just step up and do it, they killed it. It was been amazing uh, marketing for us ever since. Very few meetings that I go to, no matter where I am in the world, that this doesn't come up as a question, how did you do it and where did you do it? Heartland, The Last of Us, um, Brokeback Mountain, amazing the amount of times we were called on a daily basis for us to identify where these projects were shot and can they come and visit even now. When Fraggle Rock came calling, I think most people were surprised at how much world-class talent we have in puppeteering. This is now uh, a part of Calgary's fabric. This is going all over the world, watched by children and adults aside, and Calgary is now part of this iconic area. I learned a lot from traveling around the world. Every culture has something amazing to offer us. If we are curious, respectful, always trying to understand how people function in these different areas and how to be an ally. Hugely important for us as we start to market this throughout the world. Most days on the 401, the, the 10 um, in Los Angeles, people are stuck in traffic at five miles an hour. We thought this was a bit of a cheeky uh, approach on them, uh, telling them that the mountains are calling them. Network. A large part of my work is creating relationships and building trust. Lasting relationships take a lot of work and tolerance. You have to accept that the other person is not perfect, neither is their situation, but neither am I. I remind myself to take some time to breathe. Look around, try to find places and people that replenish your soul. Not always easy to find happy places when you're speeding through it. Gotta take the time. Tokyo, Mexico City, Mumbai, LA. They are some of the most populated cities in the world. They can be overpowering. Sometimes they can trigger anxiety and fear. But it can also be exciting, enlightening, and learnings come with it if you go in with the right mindset. We have some of the most beautiful landscapes in the world, inspiring especially for film and television production. Sometimes it takes special transport to get in there. When you pop over the top of a mountain in a glacier and there's a 3,000 foot drop right below you, these words really do come into action. So think what you want about politicians. 
I travel sometimes with the mayor into the markets like LA. I'll tell you what, when I do this, Jody Gondek speaks about the, the city, the support that it brings to the creative and other sectors. Everybody in the room pays attention and they're left inspired. Wonders, the world is full of them that most of us have only seen on books, internet, and TV. Having the opportunity to see some of these in person, I remember how important it is to experience the feeling of being in the moment. Not through the camera or selfies, but through our eyes and our heart. The Big Smoke, I spend a lot of time there. It's where the broadcasters are. It's where CMF originates from, as well as Telefilm. That's where all our funding is. It also is the place where Canadian stories start to be told to the world. And those Canadian stories also include Alberta. The creative economy. This is now our next step to ensure that the creative sector and the creative industries are seen as a core value for the city and how we're going to grow them and ensure that they're inclusive, creating opportunities for all communities in this city. Spontaneous. What you're seeing right there is the 2016 Euro Cup. When I was in Europe with my daughter traveling around, Portugal happened to get into it, we decided to go uh, see it, and it wasn't just about the game. Seeing the Mona Lisa, sewing the Tour Eiffel, my daughter will never forget it, and never will I. When we start talking about the city, and how this is putting us in a position where we can start to really showcase the talent that lives here, the people that work in the creative sector and the importance that they bring to make this a world city. City building. It's not just about great spaces to work and play. It's about how we see each other, how we learn from each other and respect each other's differences. It is said that the greatest cultures in history have some common themes. One of those is how the leaders ensure people are lifted up and not pushed down. And finally, when a TV series or film starts to make posters with your name on it and your drink of choice, it may be an opportunity to rethink your relationship to alcohol. <laughs> Coming up in a couple months, and I've never said this in public, so this is as good a place as any. It'll be five years from you soon. Thank you. Thank you.